which was the first sin that entered the world. God created everything. Then he put Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden to tend it. He blessed them and gave authority to rule over every living creature. But the serpent deceived them by saying that they will surely not die after eating the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. For God knows that when you eat of it, you will be like God knowing good and evil. So, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Genesis 3, 5, 6. So, they ate the fruit because they thought it was good for food delight to eyes and that it will make them wise like God. Even before this act of disobedience in action, they had committed a sin in their thought and that was doubt in God's love. They doubted in God who created everything for them, gave them authority over living creatures and blessed them. They believed the serpent more than God. So, the first sin that entered the world was unbelief in God's love. They believed whatever Satan told them. The doubts that Satan brought in their minds are, first, you are not perfect and wise as God. Second, God doesn't want you to have knowledge like him. In short, he rose doubts about God's love. That is, God doesn't love you enough to be like him. Instead of remembering that God loved them, he created them in his image and made them rulers over everything they believed in Satan. This is Satan's powerful weapon that he uses the most. He always tries to bring doubts in our minds. How can we overcome it? 1. Always remember God's love and sacrifice. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 2. Trust in Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. 3. Ask for Holy Spirit. He, that is the Spirit of Truth, will guide you into all the truth. John 16, 13. He will protect you from Satan's deception. Four, wait for his time. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Psalm 37, 7. Five, remember his faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 23. Six, Talk to him about your weaknesses and problems. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73, 26. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Help us to always remember that you love us. Hide us and protect us under your wings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
If you have been blessed by these videos, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.